close your eyes and take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. Notice where you feel the breathing in the body. And focus your attention there. Then stay with the breath every time you breathe in, every time you breathe out. See how long you can stay with the breathing. Other thoughts will come into the mind, but you don't have to follow them. Think about there being a committee in your mind. Lots of different people are speaking, but you've got some work you've got to do. You've got to learn how to get the mind to stay focused on one thing. Because it's only when the mind is focused that it can see things clearly. And here you want to be able to see your own mind. So you get the mind right here. Stay with the breath, going in, going out. Make sure the breath feels comfortable. Don't force it too much. You can try long breathing, short breathing, fast, slow, heavy, light. See what feels best right now. Create a sense of well-being right here. Because the mind needs to be trained. This is one very simple way of training it. You're developing mindfulness, your ability to keep something in mind. Alertness, the ability to watch what you're doing while you're doing it, know what you're doing, and know what the results are. And you're in earnest. You're trying to do this well. Because after all, here we are born as human beings. We want to be earnest about what we do. We've got these human abilities. We want to learn how to use them well. And it starts with the mind. And that goes out into our words and our deeds. When the Buddha taught his son, the very first thing he taught him was the importance of being truthful. If you say something you know is, is false, he said, it's as if your goodness has been thrown away and it's empty. There's nothing left to it. Even though the Buddha had five precepts altogether, the one against lying was the one he said was the most important. Because if you make mistakes, but then you're truthful about admitting them, then it's, e it's easy for other people to forgive you and to want to continue having a relationship. But if you lie about what you've done, who's going to trust you? Nobody will want to have you as a friend. And your own goodness begins to wear away because you, don't, you start lying to yourself about what you did, what you didn't do, what was right, what was wrong. Because if you want to live in this world, you have to know that sometimes there are things you may want to do, but they're going to cause harm. So you learn how to say, no, I'm not going to do that. And then even if you think something's not going to cause harm, but when you're doing it, you realize it's causing harm, then you've got to stop. And if you realize you caused harm, then you talk it over with somebody. You have to be truthful. That's the only way you're going to learn. If you lie about what you did, you lie about your intentions. The person giving advice can't give you accurate advice. So it's for your own good. When you're truthful in your words, it shows that you're giving value to your words. When you value your words, then other people will be more likely to give value as well. But if you're sloppy in, in the truth, who, who's going to pay attention to what you say? Because they know, well, this person has lied in the past. Why should we listen to this person now? So it's good for you. It's good for your society. Look at society now where people are lying all the time. The si society is going to fall apart because people won't tell the truth. You say, well, that's society, but I've got to make sure at least that I'm responsible for my words. And that's the beginning of all the goodness you're going to find in life, is being truthful. If you're not truthful, it destroys everything else you might gain. So start here. This is the most important thing to pay attention to when you're thinking about what to say. As Buddha said, ideally you want to say things that are truthful and beneficial and at the right time. But start with being truthful. And after, as you get older, then begin to realize what's beneficial as well. In other words, what's good for you, what's good for the people who are listening to what you say. And then you get a right, a right time and right place to say things, because sometimes you have to say things that are not pleasant. In other words, pointing out other people's mistakes. Learn how to do it in a way that they're willing to listen. Choose the right time. Choose the right place. Other times when you have to say things that are nice. Even though you may not want to, but it's the right time and the right place to say good things. As long as they're true, then go ahead and say them. If you learn how to take care of your speech in this way, then your value as a person grows. People will respect you. They will give more, pay more attention to what you have to say and what you want to say. And you're creating a good example for them. So Dharma practice, the practice of what's good in life, begins with being truthful. Make sure you have this principle solid inside you.